Come here. Hey everybody, it's Lisa Marie and Daisy. <laughs> She's got a new sweatshirt on. <laughs> we are feeling Friday vibes and decided to come out. <laughs> Hi, Alec. We also like signed up for a YouTube channel, so I guess we upload this on YouTube. I'm not really sure how it works. <laughs> Daisy and I are very happy it's Friday. It's pretty quiet, of course. And I'm so <laughs> Hi, Kimberly. TGIF to everyone. Right, Jeez? She's like, I'm not really sure. <laughs> we brought another Canada pooch outfit on. <laughs> Yeah, so we did a live on Wednesday. We're gonna try to do more lives from Amsterdam Daisy and then we just, um, like we, whatever. We just started a YouTube channel. So hopefully that will catch on for everybody. I'm not sure about everybody else, but we were really big procrastinators today. <laughs> Come on, oh, I'm off in Florida. So we're just doing our like infamous walk. So basically out of the pipe and we're heading towards Rembrandt Pine. <laughs> yeah but we we we, we, we like created it right <laughs> so I'm gonna have to remember to oh, it's kinda windy tonight um save the video because when you do a, a Facebook live you can post it and it kinda like disappears into the abyss. So we'll have to uh save the video tonight and then put it to the YouTube channel, which is obviously going to be called the Amsterdam Daisy. So. <laughs> but it's a gorgeous night. It's kind of windy. I don't know if you guys can hear the wind. for a short work walk earlier. It's just so crazy. Like I know we're in the winter and I know <laughs> but it just seems so dark so early. I don't know if anyone else feels that way in other parts of the world. Right, Jews? <laughs> so we are ready for the weekend.
video feels so late, but it's really not that late. I think it's like 5 p.m. And yeah, so JC and I signed up for YouTube, so we'll just hopefully remember to save the video. <laughs> and oh my god, I just started. And then uh, put it up. <laughs> oh, hi Scotland. No, I haven't. I haven't been there yet. Actually, this has made me, um, this whole 2020, 2021 adventure has uh, made me realize that like on the weekends, that Daisy and I just need to hop on a train when we're when we can and when it's safe and just get to every city in the Netherlands. So that's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping also with the YouTube channel is that like just sort of exploring everywhere. And we took that for granted before and shame on us. I think, yeah, the scooters, I think everyone, like, the scooters and the bikes just own the Netherlands. <laughs> and rightfully so. It's the number one mode of transport. So we've got people walking their babies. A few babies. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so windy. Own the, the yeah the cyclists own the road so that's sort of like the most like that's the first humbling thing if you want to move to the Netherlands you have to bow down to the bike which is fine <laughs> but you gotta, you gotta do it or else it's like a survival <laughs> Oh, Suzanne, hi, I love you, I miss you. <laughs> oh my god, cafeteria pizza. You just, you can't, it can't be beat. <laughs> I don't know to everybody else, but like, I feel like it's the end of January. It was a full moon. For us personally, it was kind of a struggle. I don't know if anyone else feels that way. I know this whole like year plus has felt a little bit of a struggle, but <sighs> this week just brought some nuances. Oh, I love you. But either way, thanks to Days, the Days babes, you ready to eat treats? <laughs> it's an excuse to get outside, go for a walk, and dodge some bikes. Can't get any better. No complaints. We just walked, we just walked by a basset hound. I feel like Amsterdam is like the people here. When I lived in Boston, everybody had a um, like a labradoodle, like that was like the dog. And then here, everyone has either a dachshund or a small hound, like a beagle or a basset hound. It's so funny how cities have their own choice. like on edge 
bed or they feel stuck in their house with everything going on. I highly recommend just going for a walk as you can hear the wind. It's good for the soul. And then also light. So that's another thing I love about Amsterdam is the lights everywhere. And um, I'm not sure, these are definitely holiday lights. I'm pretty sure that they end on the end of January, so in a few days. But they're just so nice. And they're so uplifting. I don't know if Daisy liked her outfit today. She looks pretty miserable. Um, you guys can, you can see the Scenic Bridge for frequent, frequent Amsterdam visitors. This is the Scenic Bridge off in the distance that's lit up. My soup pie. I don't think she likes her athleisure wear. <laughs> be on YouTube, I think I might need to make a TikTok <laughs> of her outfits. And we can all vote on where she feels most happy. Ooh. So everything in the Netherlands is closed. Um, it's been closed for months. So restaurants, stores, right, sweets. We now have a curfew because I have Daisy. I can go out, but <laughs> yeah, I hope she's not cold. Like she's got like her designer sweatshirt on, <laughs> but who knows? Yeah, so everything is closed. Like there's, like you can't go shopping, you can't do anything really. Which is fine. Um, but I think like over time, it gets a bit, ol a bit old. Uh, but it's needed. So we are in Rembrandt Pine. Let me bring you to Rembrandt himself. So we've got a lot of skateboarders. I don't know what everyone else feels like, but um, in the Netherlands, schools have been closed for months now. So I will admit it feels like, so I'm an 80s baby. And it feels like the 80s. <laughs> it just, like, kids are outside, and rightfully so. I don't blame their parents. They're running around because uh, there's no school. So. They're just, like, you'll see, like, a group of, like, you know, 10-year-olds or whatever. <laughs> it's just so, like... You're just like, is life going forward or backwards? Made juice. <laughs> so I'm not sure what it's like where everyone else is from, but. Yeah, so I don't think things are going to be changing anytime soon. So that's why Daisy and I figured we would start our like a YouTube channel because I guess for the past year we thought, hey, um, we thought it would like just eventually get back to normal, but I don't think so.
Yeah, right? So it's, it's, just, it's just crazy to me because, like, some countries kids can go to school. Some countries they can't. I honestly believe, like, that we all really don't know what we're doing. But at the end of the day, I think everybody's trying to do the best, um, the best intentions for everybody. And no one knows what that is. <laughs> Daisy and they're like, she's a big dog. And I'm like, all right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. Well, for all of you parents and teachers out there, nurses and doctors we love you <laughs> we appreciate you you know cat like I I know that it was like a full moon I was trying to explain my uh, <laughs> explain my mood <laughs> right James and um, I think it was a full moon last night but I don't I haven't seen it Sadly. up on Don Square from where we're playing. Right, geez? <laughs> and a shout out to Canada Pooch. <laughs> we love your outfits. Wolf moon? Jesus. That might explain a lot. It feels so late. <laughs> like, it, like, I think it's like five or five. It feels so late. It's been another long January, I think. I don't know if anyone has plans for the weekend, if that's still like a thing <laughs> that you can do. What I've learned from this whole lockdown is that like, I am not a good person who's self-disciplined. So, um, I used to work in a hospital, it was like a schedule, like you, you have to be here at this time and study this at this and you know, you have your exams at this time and um, now I feel very fortunate because I'm like, all right, the world's my oyster and I'm really having a hard time with it. When 
I don't know if anyone else feels that way. workers and then entrepreneurs <laughs> hopefully maybe maybe this whole experience will be able to transition into the ladder <laughs> Trader Joe's and Costco you know what I would love myself some Trader Joe's I would love to be able to go to a shop you guys, like, oh my gosh, like stores haven't been open for months. It, you know, retail therapy, I think, is completely underrated. <laughs> it, it, I know it doesn't bring value. I know, like, buying something like doesn't add to your life, etc. But shit, just being able to go to a store, just to browse. What we all took for granted. <laughs> for a second. I get these like air pockets. <laughs> no, it's so good. And you know what? I follow like, I follow people who um, are around other places that I love. Like for Americans, they might laugh, but I love Norway. I love it. My father was French. Um, I just feel like it's just this beautiful place and I definitely like tap into Instagram or other places that like are showing New Orleans, etc. So wherever you want to be, which is cool, at least we can do together. Come. <laughs> Daisy wants to take this summer. Daisy. Don't be a lazy daisy. <laughs> She's like, oh, the rope can stop. I'm on it. But I guess moral of my story is whatever everyone is feeling, it's valid. Like no matter where you're from or who you are, or what you have or what you don't have, all those emotions are valid. <laughs> yeah, right? It's just sort of like, it's like, And that's what's great about like, at least in this time, like we have connection to other people and other places. So if you want to go to Paris, you can look that up on Insta. Go to Burgundy or shit. If you want to go to Disney World, go to Disney World. It's so good. Or if you want to come to Amsterdam and walk with Daisy and I in your cool hoodie, which she hates. <laughs> Yes, I will definitely. I'll stop by the Rubin statue. We are almost there. And then also, just a reminder, I know we all know deep in our hearts, but just a reminder to check on the elderly people in our lives. Uh, like an email or text, they're all alone. Sucks. So. <laughs> I want to go to Disney. My birthday is next week. 
And to be honest, uh, so my best friend lives in Australia. So, of course, we had this, like, extravagant thing planned, which isn't going to happen. And then I was like, okay, well, I can't leave the EU. So then I thought, maybe I'll go to Disneyland Paris. Like, that'll be my birthday present. And uh, now, to be honest, my birthday present is, like, just to do this. (laughs) And that's great. My birthday is February 4th, so one one week. So I am Aquarius as they come. Everything you read, I, that that is me. It's painful, actually. <laughs> the stereotype. So here is the Sashilusa. <laughs> Oh, uh, I, uh, so funny, I work at the University of Rochen in Milan on their research, but I haven't been yet. So you guys can see the water here. Um, it's sort of moving. And then we'll back up. So this is the male side. We went from the female side to the male side. Super beautiful. All right, so we'll continue on to Dom Square. Come on, Dad. Oh, I mean, it's crazy because I'm actually looking at my PhD as well in the Netherlands. I, but actually, after this lockdown, I think um, I, I also went to school in England. It's very much uh, the Europeans are very much self. Like you have to be self motivated and self taught, um, which is wonderful. In the United States, uh, there's very much like. You know, your class is at this time. Your project is due this time. And I'm actually looking at PhD stuff. And uh, I don't want to pay the American prices. But I think I'm a better person for the people who tell me you need this done at this time. So I don't know if I would be successful um, here doing so but let me know can we post it because I'm looking into both as well <laughs> all right so we are in Dom Square and I will admit this is kind of monumental because no one's here except for the Jews Jeez. <laughs> Yes, 100%. You need to find the right mentor. If you can find the right mentor, you're like golden. 100% agree. And good luck to you too. Thank you so much. So we are in Nam Square. Dubai and Corf, which has been closed for, I don't know, it feels like an entire year. Um, someone that I follow on Instagram that came here on the night it snowed like I feel like it, they kind of took advantage of the curfew thing with the dogs uh, which was a little bit weird but like whatever I'm like 
I'm such a stickler. I'm annoying. Um, but they had their their dogs. It's like I think her name is Dipla. Dipla. Uh, she's a, uh, from originally from India. She's lovely, beautiful, and um, they had their dogs like running around. There's no one around. We're coming up on the Magnum Plaza, which of course is closed. Yeah, I don't, there's no hint, unfortunately. I think we're stuck in this for quite some time. I will admit, even my, um, so my partner is Dutch and his mom, like we email back and forth all the time. And um, she is like, Yeah, I think the Netherlands might be pulling up the rear as they speak when it comes to vaccines and stuff. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna loop you around the palace. Albert Hine, which I will definitely be hitting up later. If anyone has amazing like family recipes that they want to send me, <laughs> please do so. They just sent a bunch of friends um, some costs, some Hen Henry costs from um, Utrecht, like lavender goat cheese, and then truffle goat cheese, and then of course classic Dutch goat Gouda. It's a big hit. <laughs> Days. What do you think? You think we Netflix and chill? You say hi to everybody? <laughs> all right, <laughs> all in all. Much love. Good avant. Fine enough. Dewey. And until next time. And we'll post this on YouTube and see what happens. Right, sweetie? Alright, don't look. Okay, fine. Alright, much love. Bye!